Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Segate Free Agent um, Desktop Adapter. Um, you can pick this up on Amazon. Um, what I'm trying to do is I have a the Segate Backup Plus 2 terabyte hard drive. And with the hard drive on the box, it says that it comes with, um, it's able to, you can use a 3.0 firewire 800 or the usb 2.0 adapt um, 2.0 connection well out of the box it only gives you the option to do the usb 3.0 i have an older imac a 2007 imac so i do not have the usb 3.0 so what i'm looking to do is increase my speeds um, through firewire with this with this um adapter that i have so as you can see here this is um this is showing you the adapter that's where your hard drive will connect on the side to have additional ports and additional firewire and USB 2.0 this is where you would plug your power and your uh, firewire 800 plug into one good thing about this one is it does come with a firewire 800 cable as you can see here um, it's pretty good I know some of the other hard drives they don't include the cable so that's an extra fee you would have to pay um, this one, in case you wanted to use it, is um, they do provide a USB 2.0 cable also. As you can see, it's a 2.0 cable, not a 3.0 cable. And the only other thing in the box um, is the power supply, um, which is very important. And you will see later on in the venue, um, video why the power supply is important. Now here, what I'm going to show you is this is another adapter that works for these um, for the Backup Plus and some of the other Segate drives. This is a FireWire 800 Free Agent Upgrade Cable. Now, if you choose to purchase this cable, one thing you may want to note: um, I saw in other forums I cannot get it to work because um, it does not have power with it. I know you may think that in FireWire 800 you don't need power, but in in this uh, particular instance you do. So what I'm doing right here is I'm getting ready to run a speed test. And I'm going to do the speed test first off of my um, internal hard drive. I have a, I think it's a 250 um, gigabyte um, hard drive. So as you can see my results, I'm getting the reads around a little bit under 60 and the writes right under 60 also. Um, which for my basic video editing and things that I do is okay but I don't want to store all of my um, Final Cut Pro projects on the same drive and have them. So I wanted something to be comparable in an external drive. So as you can see here, I'm going to switch. Now this is the actual hard drive connected to a USB 2.0 um, interface. So as you can see here, it's starting off the reads. The speeds are a lot lower. I'm right around maybe 2730 on the read and around the same thing on the right. So even speeds close, it's half, about well, half the way less than it is on your, uh, from, from my internal hard drive. So I'm really hoping that this um, FireWire 800, that it does improve my speeds. I'm not looking to get um, super speeds or anything like that like an SSD but I'm at least hoping to be comparable with my internal drive so right here I'm switching over and now I've I've plugged in the adapter so now this will be the test with the FireWire 800 um, connected to my hard drive So as you can see there, as soon as it starts, it looks almost identical to the internal drive. And this is running off the FireWire 800, um, the adapter that I just got from Seagate. So I can see the read and write speeds are pretty much comparable to my internal drive. So it's not going to be faster. I um, don't plan on trying to boot from this drive. Just to be able to store my Final Cut projects on this drive and be able to access them at the minimum, at the, at the same speed that I'm accessing um, from my internal drive. Um, in case you guys are wondering, this program that I'm using is called Disk Speed Test, Black Magic Disk Speed Test. You can pick it up in the App Store. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, leave them down below. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.